Okay guys, welcome back because I can gaming and today we are going to go over a solo card duplication glitch that is working today which is wonderful because it means it should be working all weekend long. So an easy way to make some quick and easy money guys, you are going to need your bunker, you're going to need an MOC with vehicle storage and then you're going to need a car inside your nightclub uh, in your service entrance. So the car you're going to duplicate over so you put an RH8 in your service entrance and as you see I'm going to use an arena car. I'm in it right now so I'm going to stick this in my MOC to start the glitch. I am in an invite only session just makes things a little more easier for everybody and that way you don't have to worry about being killed and if your card disappears that's probably one of the main reasons is in a public session it can be a little uh, harder to hit or your car will disappear sometimes. So invite only it is guys and I'm in free and Man, that's a lot of things to remember, but honestly, it's a super easy glitch, guys. It was like the uh, arcade glitch, just this time we're using our nightclub instead. So shout out to the founders, the link will be down in the description. So I'm going to start off by putting this in my MOC, since it wasn't in my MOC just yet. And then we're going to start off with the glitch, guys. So if you have no one you can join in uh, auto-aim lobby, leave a comment down below what lobby you're in and what system you're on. Or you could just go to your crew uh, tab on your pause menu and join someone in a crew. Uh, ING plays a lot of auto-aim as well. So as you see, I'm going to get out of my car, get back in it. I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to start the glitch with that. Make sure when you're doing the glitch, guys, do not call in any personal vehicles. As you see, I'm going to pull it over to the side right here. I'm going to jump out. I'm going to run outside. Now, before I do that, I did mention you need an RH8 inside your nightclub uh, service entrance. So I'm just going to order that right now. So by the time I get there, it should be there. And then we can continue on with our glitch. So if you're doing this, guys, make sure if you're doing this for money, well, Obviously, we're all doing this for money. Make sure you follow the cell rules. If you're not familiar with it, it's one car an hour, max seven a day. A day in GTA is 30 hours. That way you don't get dupe detected. Maybe after you're done, what I usually do is just have three or four garages full of cars. That way when the glitches are working, you have money to be banked on. And that's how I have like $415 million on this game. So I'm going to fast travel. You can call in a CEO helicopter if you want. If you don't know how to fast travel, you are just going to start up a job close to where you're going. You're going to load into it. Now I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to host it just because there's no active jobs going right now. And then I'm going to join someone in a different targeting mode, which will then put me onto that part of the map. So I did find today, even earlier on the Gives Cars a Friend video, that the alerts are taking a long time to come through. So keep that in mind, guys. If it's not working, you'll see here that it took an awful long time for the alert to start. I started looking to join another friend, but then the Xbox realized that uh, I couldn't do that because I already had an alert going through, so it was all grayed out. So just keep that in mind, guys. It can be a little laggy for some reason. So as you see, I'm just going to find a random person. I'm going to join them in a different targeting mode. And like I said, I've already accepted the first alert with uh, Joey, and it wasn't sending it through, so I was trying to join somebody else. Once I back out of the screen, it's going to surprisingly suck me through to where I want to be. You accept the first alert, which tells you that you're going to join a friend, and then you decline the second alert that says you're joining someone in a different targeting mode, and that will spawn you out on foot outside of the job. So here's the first alert, and then there's the second alert, decline, and here I am at that job marker, and that's what I want. So now I'm going to run over to my nightclub guys and I'm going to walk you through this glitch. It's super easy and honestly the timing isn't that bad at all guys. So we can walk you through this quite easily. The uh, bad thing is when if the alerts aren't coming in fast enough that's what makes this glitch a little slower. But other than that it works pretty quickly. You can do quite a few cars and then you can sell them for like 1.7 million dollars if it's fully maxed out. Make sure you stick to an arena car or a Benny's car. The arena uh, cars sell for the most money and then the Benny's cars sell for the second most amount of money. The other cars guys if you're duping like say your Deluxo or your Mark II Oppressor you can only do it once. You can sell the original for like the two million dollars and everything else from that will sell for like two to three hundred K. So if you can't sell it it's because you're not following the rules right there so you have been warned if you try to dupe something that says it's too much then you can't sell worth more than fifty thousand dollars it's because you didn't follow the rule so once you get in here guys we are going to go over to the bar and it's just like the arena glitch where we would uh you know do our thing in the arena and now we're going to do it in the nightclub so it's super easy to do i'm going to show you where you go you're going to go upstairs we're going to work our way to the bar and we're going to go behind the top bar 
So we want to serve drinks just like the arcade part where you were serving drinks to people. We're doing it right now in the nightclub. So Rockstar might have patched that one, but they didn't patch this one just yet. So we're going to go over here. You see in front of me, there is that chain uh, wall. Basically, we're going to go in behind there, and that's how you get into behind the bar. Once you get behind the bar, just stick to the right, guys. Go through the door, and right to the right, there should be a bottle of rum. You're going to go to it, and it's going to show you hit right on the D-pad. You're going to hit right on a D-pad to serve drinks. So if you want some free liquor, come see me. So as you see here, I'm ready to serve my drinks. So once you hit right on the D-pad to serve your drinks, and you're standing here at the bar like I am, I'm just going to hit my Xbox menu or PlayStation, and I'm going to join a friend in a different targeting mode. Again, the alerts can be a little weird sometimes, guys, but... You're going to accept the first alert and you're going to decline the second. As you see here, the alert is really slow today. It's It blows me away. It's this slow. So once it goes through, guys, we're going to walk you through it. This is really simple. Um, they say there's a little timing involved, but it really isn't if you ask me. So as you see, I accept the first alert, decline the second. I'm going to hit pause, go to online. And I'm going to open up Krennel Enterprise Starter Pack. Once I open that up, I'm going to back out. And then I'm going to go to Jobs, Play Jobs, Rockstar Create It. And I'm going to play the very first one at the arena, which is like Boom Ball or Bomb Ball, I believe it is. Bomb Ball. We're going to accept that. And it's going to tell you that uh, the job is no longer active. You're just going to accept the alert. And it's going to be paused right here. And you're going to be frozen. So now that you're frozen, you're going to hit pause one more time. You're going to go to online and you're going to go to purchase shark cards. Once you're in the menu for purchase shark cards, you're just going to back out of the menu and you should be unpaused. So as you see here, I go in, I'm just going to hit B or circle, back out of it, back out of it one more time. Boom, I'm unpaused. So make sure you do not hit right on the D-pad. We're going to work our way down to the service entrance where the car we're going to duplicate over. And in my case, we are using the LG RH8. So... When we get down there guys, I'm going to explain this to you so you know how to hit this on your first try. Make sure you pay attention so if you mess this up, you're going to have to restart the glitch. So as you see, I'm going to run over here, I'm going to go down here, and here is my, R my LG RH8. So what you want to do is you're going to go in, you're going to hit triangle to go into your car or Y. As soon as you start to sit down in your car, so once your head ducks down to get inside the car, you're going to hit right on the D-pad once, and then you're going to start tapping the gas button. When your screen goes black, stop tapping gas. So you're going to see me do it right here, guys. I'm going to hit Y or triangle to get in the car. As soon as I start to crouch down, as you see right here, I hit right on the D-pad. I go invisible, and I'm tapping the gas button. So just tap, tap, tap. When the screen goes black, you stop doing that. You're going to spawn outside in no car. If you spawn outside with no car, you have completed the glitch. So now we're going to go duplicate. If you spawn outside with the car, you have to start over again. So I'm going to fast travel job teleport to the job closest to my bunker. If you don't want a job teleport, guys, you can use your CEO helicopter. Uh, either way works. So same thing as before. I'm going to host it, and then I'm going to join a friend in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert, decline the second, which is then going to spawn me out on foot. I'm going to show you that the, this is a plate merge, so it's a merge glitch, which means it is a clean dupe. So you don't have to worry about being dupe detected. I don't have to put plates on it. Don't going to mess around with that kind of stuff. So again, we'll wait on the alerts. When we're waiting on the alerts, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Make sure you stay up to date with all the GTA 5 glitches, guys. So as this is still loading up, God, the alerts are slow today. What we're going to do is we're going to accept the first alert, decline the second. Here we are right here. Boom, we're out on foot. Now we're just going to run on over to our bunker and get inside. If you plan on doing this a lot, you can make your own jobs and post them right in front of your bunker and then right in front of your nightclub so you don't have to run that little bit that I'm running and it will save you a little bit of extra time. So here we go. We're going to work our way over inside our bunker where our car is going to be. I'm going to show you what plate's on it and then I'm going to show you that the plate's going to change and then we're going to save it and then you just start fresh. So the car that you're putting inside your MOC is going to be the dupe. The car that goes in your nightclub service entrance is going to be your original car. Or in my case, it's just another dupe because I've duped these cars so many times. And you go from there. If you can't put your car inside the MOC, it's because you don't have vehicle storage. So make sure you fix that. Not workshop. You want storage. So you see I get in here. Just like that, the plate has changed. And now I just need to save it and call it a day. So thanks for checking me out, guys. You can go to MOC, hit right on the D-pad, accept the alert, and just like that, it is saved. Until next time, guys, I will definitely catch you later. 
and we'll definitely see you later on today with some more GTA 5 glitches.